our presentation and policymakers, I want to introduce you uh, our partner in crime, in good crime for uh, these topics, the General Consul uh, Mario Batocchi. I just want to say that um, it is such an honor to be, in fact, to be represented uh, in, uh, in, in this area uh, by the Consul that is so active, so committed, so uh, close to the real business community that we look forward to more years together. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mark. First of all, thanks to you and to the Mind the Bridge Foundation for organizing this event. Every year is a way to showcase the best of our country in the technology and innovation sectors. This year, I think it, it's important, it, especially important, even more important than last year. Why? probably because Italy is going through a time of renewed change. Uh, Marco mentioned that we have now a 39-year-old prime minister. Before, we had a 47-year-old prime minister that we've gone down to 39. So the trend <laughs> is to youth. Um, but it's not just a matter of the age. The government is actually equipping itself to do a good job in communicating about our own assets. Well, you would imagine that we as Italians, we are very good at uh, schmoozing and doing communication. But the point is we may be good at doing that in sort of soft sectors like, for example, food. But we are still lagging behind when it gets down to showcasing the strength of our uh, technology and innovative capabilities. Uh, those who are, you know, who have hands-on in the sector, they know. And I was talking to our colleagues from the Irish Technology Leadership Group, and they know that we have incredible capabilities, incredible talent. And even uh, American consumers know that we're very good at manufacturing goods <coughs> with high quality and high level design. Still, we are lagging behind when it gets down to saying, hey, Italy is the right place where to invest. Why is that? There are many good reasons to talk about, but let me say, maybe sometimes we've been too complacent, thinking that everybody would come to us even if we didn't try hard to show them what we can do. Now the moment has come, and in the first panel that Marco will introduce, we will have the top ranking uh, officials and business people that in Italy at the moment are uh, leading this new strategy to attract foreign direct investment. FDI is crucial, and we believe we have all the assets I was mentioning to be uh, in the short list of the country, with the countries all over the world that attract FDI also in the technology field. <coughs> you know, our universities are very good. The cost of engineers, comparatively speaking, to uh, Silicon Valley are relatively cheap, um, we have a loyal manpower, uh, there are many good reasons and uh, the government now is committed to do whatever it can to make it easier for investors to uh, take the necessary steps in the legal sector, in, in courts, and in all the necessary uh, uh, shops where, you know, the one-stop shops that at some point uh, uh, entrepreneurs have to deal with. We will listen to that later on during this conference. Let me just conclude to say that here in Silicon Valley, the Italians teaming up with the Americans of Italian origin are a great model for the whole world, for the Italian diaspora, let's say so. They are organized in networks, they work together, and this is a wonderful example, uh, we can do, and we're already doing, but we can do more all together to promote this new image of Italy. I, can hope, can, uh, I hope I can count on your support today, like in the following weeks and month. Follow us, and I'm sure that Italy, possibly maybe when Mr. Renzi comes, if he does, let's hope so, uh, Italy will be able to, uh, to appear as the best kept secret for investment in this part of the world. Thank you very much, and have a successful event. Grazie.